What's up you guys? You got Shempy. Just downloaded this NCAA 2012 demo from the PlayStation Marketplace. And I'm ready to get a first look at some of the uh, changes they've been making in NCAA. If you've been keeping up a little bit with our Facebook, you'll see I've posted quite a few things. Ma mainly um, on the NCAA front as opposed to Madden just because I'm just about ready to give up on Madden. But I'll take you through this first look at NCAA here. They've got four teams to choose from. I chose the Oregon-Texas game just because I'm a little bit more familiar with Oregon's offense, having played it on uh, last year's Road to Glory. And the first thing that I noticed, I know everyone else seeing it, LaMichael James rocking some of those dreads. You can see them flopping around in the wind. A long-awaited addition for a lot of people, especially uh, if your team has a lot of guys with dreads. You may not think it does much to the gameplay, but I mean, come on, look at it. With that being said, there have been some actual changes that have changed the gameplay up a little bit. You can see that the linebacker still makes some ridiculous plays, but those do happen on occasion in real life, so you got to let some of those slide, even though they can be extremely frustrating. But one of the biggest additions, and one of the things I've most been looking forward to, is this kind of concept of gang tackling and uh, getting out of tackling animations when another player comes up for a hit. Now this is something new that they added to the game this year, so you can't expect it to be perfect, and uh, really isn't great yet, but I'm glad that they're at least trying something new and trying something different. They've been settling for the same game for so long that it's great to see something new. And as you can see, I'm still giving up some stupid big plays on defense. There is a small adjustment period, as there are with uh, all the games when you come in, but trying to take this one the distance, Kenyon Barner doing some work on the kick return. Um, gets to the other side of the 50, and that sets me up pretty good position to at least match the score that Texas had. But uh, another key addition to this year's game has been the zone offense, something they've been trying to sell really hard on their Facebook and in all of their interviews with developers. The defense really is making a uh, comeback, I guess you could say, in this game. Last year, defense was just not the priority. You could see all these changes on the offense, be it uh, playbooks or... Like I said before, the new emphasis on acceleration. But this year, they did take a little bit more time on the defensive end. The zone coverage is a big change, and it is a welcome change. You almost could never run zone defenses last year just because it was so bad. The players would sit in a position, they'd get to their zone, and just sit. They wouldn't guard the players at all. And you can get a good look at it right here, how um, every player kind of covers a man a little bit, staying in their zone and passing off the man to another player when they leave their zone, and that's about how it's run in real life. Still some flaws and some little hiccups here and there, but you got to expect it in the demo and uh, expect it when it's the first time that they've implemented something like this. Now I'm playing on All-American here just to uh, get a feel for the game, and you can see a lot of good and bad plays on both sides of the ball. And it's great to see. It got to a point last year where All-American almost got too easy um, between picking apart zone defenses and just knowing what plays work, throwing to the flats almost every single play. And that is one of the things that they've tried to fix. They've uh, recognized it and they've worked on it. Now, I said this before, but this game is not perfect and uh, far from it, actually. But they're doing a lot of good things, and you got to like the direction of... NCAA at least, and I'm hoping they're going to do a little bit more with Madden. I liked NCAA's changes that they made last year, but I didn't see them reciprocated in Madden um, quite like they were in this game. So it'll be interesting to see if they try to take the time to make some decent changes to Madden because last year's game was just not good. It was still a subpar product. A few other changes that you'll see to NCAA, they're making a couple of minor changes it seems like to uh, both the Road to Glory and Dynasty mode, a couple of game modes I have a lot of fun in. Um, Road to Glory, they are letting you play out an entire high school year if you choose to do so, and a little bit different in how you progress and how you move forward on the team. Um, before you'd come in, you'd do a practice or two and you'd be a starter. Um, now you come in, you still need to do the practice, you, practices, you still need to uh, earn your position, but at the same time, by progressing through the seasons, you can get more and more uh, control of the team. If you're a quarterback, you can only call your own audibles at a certain point um, when you're a star of the team or when you finally have control of what your abilities and what you're able to do. 
So there is some progression there. It remains to be seen if they're going to do anything with player attributes and how those progress because it really makes a big difference to me when you can choose, pick and choose what you want to work on, what things you need to get better at, what things you uh, kind of take priority of. It changes the gameplay a lot, it changes how you play the game, and it's something that I think has been lacking from um, these NCAA Road to Glory modes in the past. Now I'll get to the gameplay a little bit. We are in the third quarter. Uh, I just gave up a big time interception on a stupid pass, trying to hold them on the goal line and doing a decent job. Oregon's defense was not what I would call their strong suit last year. They definitely had the offense to carry them, but couldn't quite pull it together in the national championship. And trying to beat Texas here, playing on the two minute demo quarters, getting a big sack on third and goal and forcing a fourth and goal trying to ice the kicker call the timeout he will hit the upright and it will bounce in so I've got about a minute and 15 seconds to score and so we will get to work with that trying to run this spread offense and uh, hurry up offense but with that said another one of my favorite game modes in these NCAA games is the dynasty mode being able to recruit your own team and sort of work your way up if that's how you choose or taking over a big time dynasty that's already around it can be a lot of fun and they've made a couple of changes to that too you actually take over a coaching position and you can start out as a defensive coordinator and work your way up to head coach and should be an interesting new look to uh, the dynasty mode but my biggest concern is the gameplay as it is every year um, trying to get open on this screenplay and well Michael James in the open field is just too dangerous trying to make it to the end zone looks like I get in but I will get stuck at the one yard line now, I thought I had an easy win here and an easy run up the gut but I get stuffed once again at the one yard line at the half yard line we'll even call it then a linebacker sneaks right in gets me in the backfield I'm just gonna settle for the field goal I want to play this demo a little bit longer anyway so let's take this game to overtime now, I won the coin toss, so I'm going to elect to play defense here and see what Texas does with the ball on offense. I've been able to stop them decently um, outside of a few big meltdowns and big plays, partially, I think, uh, due to the changes they've made in the defensive side of the ball. It's an adjustment that needs to be made, but uh, a welcome one and one you're willing to accept every year to at least get somewhat of a different game than the previous year. But on 3rd and 12, Garrett Gilbert looking deep downfield. The defense holds, running a little bit of man coverage with the safeties playing uh, deep half. And holding this pretty good Texas team to a field goal. He will just squeak it inside the upright. So now Texas has set the tone for this overtime and given me something to work for. I'm getting the ball to my wide receiver, number 80, Tuine Lavoisier. And uh, he makes a pretty solid play, getting the ball upfield and getting the first down. Now it's time to give Michael James a little bit of the workload. He makes a great play following his blockers and getting down to about the one or two yard line. Hopefully I can pound it in this time instead of settling for another field goal. But you know Michael's just not going to let that happen again. Linebacker squeaks in once again, but Michael's got a little bit too much quickness and he will sneak around that linebacker and get into the end zone. All in all, I really enjoyed playing this demo. Um, they got a couple of nice welcome changes that have been, well, a long time coming, but finally they're starting to get some work done on this game. And if you're on the fence about buying it, I would recommend playing the demo. You get a better feel for how the gameplay is and uh, some of the changes they've made. So you can hop onto the PlayStation Marketplace. The download takes a good little while because you're downloading basically the entire game and then only able to play with four teams. But this has been the first look at NCAA 12. Hope you enjoyed this video. See ya!